Have you ever wondered about the extreme weather conditions on other planets in our solar system? Let's start close to home with our very own star, the Sun. The Sun, the radiant and pulsating heart of our solar system, has a fiery temper that often surprises us, humankind. It hurls out solar storms, extraordinary bursts of intense radiation and supercharged particles that have the potential to wreak havoc on our planet. These furious and mighty outbursts from the Sun can inflict severe damage upon satellites which keep a detailed and diligent watch on the Sun's unpredictable mood swings. These satellites are our first line of defense, helping us prepare for the worst and buffering us against the unpredictable temper of our star. Yet sometimes, even our most meticulously laid plans, our most carefully crafted defenses can't shield us from the Sun's unleashed rage. Let's travel back in time to the year 1859, when a solar flare of enormous magnitude, named after the renowned astronomer Richard Carrington, sparked the most significant solar storm ever recorded history. A time when our understanding of these solar phenomena was in its infancy. This event, now etched in history as the Carrington event, caused widespread and severe interruptions to global telegraph communications, the most advanced technology of the time. The Carrington event didn't just disrupt communication, it also sparked incredible aurora displays that were seen as far south as the Caribbean. These light displays were a dazzling yet ominous reminder of the sun's immense power. The vibrant colors dancing in the night sky were a spectacle to behold, but they were also a stark warning of the sun's potential for destruction. Jump forward in time to 1989, when another explosive solar flare ravaged the electric power transmission from the Hydro-Quebec generating station in Canada. This incident caused a serious blackout that left six million people without electricity for an astonishing nine hours. Imagine an entire day without electricity, without the usual hum of technology, all because of an outburst from our seemingly benign star. But the sun's influence extends beyond mere power outages and beautiful light shows. It can impact our lives in ways we seldom consider. Some researchers suggest that a solar might have played an unexpected role in one of the most infamous maritime disasters in history, the sinking of the Titanic. The theory goes that a solar storm, which can create impressive northern light displays, could have disrupted the ship's state-of-the-art navigation and communication systems. Such a disruption could have severely hindered rescue operations, contributing to the tragic loss of life. This is a sobering thought that the sun, the very source of all life on Earth, could also be a silent contributor to one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in history. Indeed, the very celestial body that nurtures us can also pose some serious challenges for our increasingly technology-dependent world. And its moods, its sudden outbursts can affect us in ways we can't always predict or prevent. But as we journey on in our quest to explore and understand the sun's temper tantrums, as we continue to delve deeper into its mysteries, we learn more about how to live with and adapt to our fiery star. We learn to appreciate its power, to respect its might, and to prepare for its moods. The sun, our sun, is a constant reminder of our fragility and our resilience. As we gaze at it, we realize that we are a part of a vast complex system, a system that can be as beautiful as it is terrifying. The more we understand about our sun, the better prepared we will be to face its challenges. And as we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, we learn to live in harmony with our star. We learn to adapt, to change, to grow. Because at the, the day, we are children of the sun, and it is our destiny to understand it, to live with it, to thrive under its glow. It seems the sun, the very source of our life, can also pose some serious challenges for our technology-dependent world. Now, let's venture off to our neighboring planet Venus, where the weather gets even more interesting. Venturing into the solar system, we traverse the vast expanse to reach our neighboring planet, Venus. The second planet from the Sun and our closest neighbor, Venus, strikes us as an intriguing world, mysterious yet alluring. Closer inspection, however, reveals an even more riveting spectacle, a tempestuous dance at the south pole of Venus. This is not an ordinary dance, but a vortex, a monstrous storm that's the size of Europe, swirling and twirling in the planet's dense atmosphere. This vortex, this celestial maelstrom, exhibits an eerie beauty that belies its intimidating scale. Its swirls, akin to the strokes of an impressionist painter, seem to be caught in an eternal ballet. The vortex appears to be a long-standing resident of Venus, 
refusing to vacate, perhaps a result of some peculiar characteristics of this world. Characteristics that we are eager to unravel, to comprehend in our ceaseless quest for knowledge. These peculiar characteristics contribute to an intriguing phenomenon. The atmosphere on Venus moves faster than the planet itself. Yes, you heard that right. The Venusian winds create an impressive spectacle, a gust of wind reaching speeds of up to 250 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's 60 times faster than the planet rotates. It's as if Venus is caught in a perpetual atmospheric waltz, one that's simply too fast for the planet to keep up with. The mysteries of Venus, however, don't stop there. Despite not being the closest planet to the Sun, Venus is the hottest in our solar system. How could this be? It turns out, Venus is draped in a dense atmospheric blanket that traps heat in a vicious cycle, a runaway greenhouse effect. This causes the Venusian temperatures to soar to a blistering 870 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. In the realm of the peculiar, the rain on Venus takes the crown. It is no ordinary rain, it's a downpour of corrosive sulfuric acid. And if that doesn't sound fearsome enough, this acid rain evaporates before it even reaches the ground, thanks to the extreme surface temperatures. Imagine a world where the rain never touches the ground, where the weather is a perpetual storm of heat and acid. When we, bound by the constraints of our earthly existence, gaze up at the night sky and admire Venus, twinkling brightly as the evening star, it's easy to forget the violent weather that rages on its surface. Its radiant glow masks a harsh reality, a world fraught with extreme weather and unforgiving conditions. Yet, it is these conditions that make Venus an object of fascination, a destination that intrigues scientists and stargazers alike. Its allure is contrasted by an equally daunting reality. This reality is a stark reminder of the power and unpredictability of our solar system's weather. A reminder that the cosmos is a realm of extremes where beauty and danger often go hand in hand. This dichotomy makes our quest to understand the universe both exhilarating and humbling. Venus, while beautiful to look at from a distance, is a world of extreme and deadly weather. Farthest from the sun, Neptune has some weather extremes of its own. Distant from the fiery warming presence of our solar system's star, Neptune, the blue giant, sits nestled in an eternal, icy night. This celestial body, the eighth and outermost planet in our system, takes the crown for the fastest winds in the solar system. This, at its highest altitudes, where a blanket of methane gas gives Neptune its distinct mesmerizing blue hue, winds whip through the atmosphere with unparalleled ferocity and speed. These Neptunian winds are not ordinary gusts. They are immense, earth-shattering gales that reach speeds of over 1,300 miles per hour. That's 1.6 times the speed of sound, faster than any supersonic jet ever built by mankind. It's a speed that would make our earthly hurricanes like gentle breezes in comparison. Talk about a sonic boom of the solar system. But these winds are not just for show. They are a symbol of Neptune's turbulent and ever-changing weather patterns. They give rise to some of the most enormous, awe-inspiring storms we've ever observed in our solar system. And these storms, much like the planet itself, are shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Cast your minds back to 1989 when a humble spacecraft, the Voyager 2, ventured deep into the farthest reaches of our solar system. It was there, millions of miles away from Earth, that Voyager 2 caught sight of a mesmerizing feature on Neptune's surface. It was a storm, a tempest of such a scale that it dwarfed any storm ever observed on Earth. This was the great dark spot of Neptune, a storm as fleeting as it was fascinating. The Great Dark Spot had vanished by the time the Hubble Space Telescope turned its gaze towards Neptune some five years later. Yet the Hubble has been keeping a watchful eye on Neptune's turbulent atmosphere ever since. It has observed the advent and demise of countless Neptunian storms, each one a testament to the awe-inspiring power and mystery of our universe. Having observed Neptune for decades, the Hubble Telescope has made a startling discovery. These Neptunian storms rotate clockwise, a distinctive characteristic that arises due to the planet's unique rotation. This is unlike hurricanes on Earth, which are low-pressure systems and rotate counterclockwise. Throughout the years, Hubble has noted the arrival and demise of many Neptunian storms. Each storm has been an awe-inspiring spectacle, a dazzling display of the raw power and mystery of the universe. One storm in particular has recently perplexed scientists. This vortex had been observed sweeping southward toward Neptune's equator, following the path of various storms before it. 
Its behavior was so different from what we've come to expect, it serves as a reminder of how much we still have to learn about our neighboring planets and their captivating weather phenomena. Neptune's storms are not the only spectacular aspect of its weather. The planet's intense winds create a sonic boom that resonates through the atmosphere, a sound that echoes the raw power and beauty of this distant world. These are the winds that carry Neptune's storms across its surface, creating a spectacle that is as mesmerizing as it is terrifying. While it might be the furthest planet from the sun, Neptune certainly isn't lacking in extraordinary weather phenomena. Whether it's the sonic boom of its winds or the majestic storms that dance across its surface, Neptune continues to astound and inspire us with its fierce beauty. It's a testament to the boundless wonders of our solar system, a testament that keeps us looking skywards, yearning for more. As we continue our journey of exploration and discovery, we are reminded that our universe is filled with wonders beyond our comprehension. And Neptune, the blue giant, is one of them. From our fiery sun to the distant windswept Neptune, weather in our solar system is as diverse as it is extreme. We've journeyed through the sun's furious solar storms capable of knocking out our power grids and causing global communication disruptions. We've experienced the dizzying vortex of Venus, a storm so powerful it moves faster than the planet itself, and the corrosive sulfuric acid rain that evaporates before even reaching the ground due to the planet's hellishly hot temperatures. We've felt the force of Neptune's mega winds, breezes so swift they exceed the speed of sound, and observed the planet's turbulent storms that arise and vanish within a few short years. These celestial weather phenomena are a testament to the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of our solar system. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other weather wonders we'll uncover in the great expanse of our solar system and beyond.